In this video, we'll discover about 10 tactics to increase brain power, memory, and motivation to learn better. Most times, we tend to find ourselves stuck in the getting ready process as we try to do more of the things we love and maximize our time. As we tend to never actually jump off even though we want to get better every day, live a happy, successful life, and achieve our goals, it becomes necessary for us to find the motivation to do what we must do. Motivation can be something that you create, and it need not be something that happens to you. You cannot hang your chances of moving forward on waiting for inspiration. You need to light your own fire by awakening and channeling your self-motivation, which is the most powerful form of motivation. On your quest to increase your motivation, memory, and brain power, here are a few things you should do. Number one, simplify your life. To be sincere, there's nothing beautiful about complications. You'll be able to focus your energy on accomplishing your goals and maximize your time when activities that don't motivate or excite you are eliminated or delegated. For you to be able to simplify, you must plan your life creatively. Your life will become more focused if you can carve away the unnecessary by simplifying. This will ultimately lead you to motivation. When all the projects and tasks you need to do clutter and confuse your mind, it will be very hard to stay motivated. So, work on simplifying things. Number two, focus on how far you've come. Do you know that you can set yourself up for success if you can become more conscious of how your brain works and change your thinking? Stop thinking of how distant you are from your dreams and ideals and embrace the habit of measuring your success from how far you've come. The chances are high that you'll feel happier and more energized when you don't talk in generalities but in specifics. Measuring your progress and using your brain to solve and visualize will always help make you happy. Reflect on things you've accomplished from a specific starting point, instead of focusing on your ideal and train your brain to measure specifics. Number three, set measurable goals. There's no denial about the fact that we feel inspired, motivated, and happier when we make real progress towards our goals. Note that the future is the future, the past is gone, and what we have now is the present moment. Thus, making better use of our time is the only choice we have since we don't have the power to stop time, and we must keep moving forward, whichever way we know how to. You'll feel way worse and possibly get demotivated to press on if you start comparing yourself with others. As you outline your goals, make sure you try to find the meaning, purpose behind them respectively. In terms of your personal progress, visualize what achieving your goals will mean to you, and make sure that, for each goal, there are specific measurements. Number four. Shift your motivation from getting to giving. Wayne Dyer once said that the things we look at change when we change how we look at things. And this is very true. Most of us have the all about me and just me mentality in our endeavors and relationships, which isn't really good enough. However, you can help your mindset to shift from solely receiving to giving by being more consciously awake to the world and coming from a place of serving and helping. It can become a true purpose and focus for you when you focus on giving. What you stand to enjoy when you do this is that more space for abundance will be created in your brain, and your motivational energy will always be high. Surrounding yourself with people with a likewise mindset and focusing on giving and gratitude will also fetch you the benefit of being more creative in your approach to improving. Number five, create and repeat a new habit. You'll be helping a lot in creating incremental improvements when you get your brain to wire new pathways by doing something new repeatedly. However, take note that consistency and repetition is the key to start a new habit. Maybe you desire to improve your speaking, create videos, go to the gym, or whatever it is. For example, you may start building your strength and stamina by running every day if you're gearing up to run a 5K. Likewise, repetition is the key if you desire to start a new morning routine. Number six, direct your subconscious mind before sleep. Never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious. Thomas Edison Make a request to your subconscious mind before you go to sleep. This is one of the things that successful people always do, and it's a great habit to emulate. Visualize the experiences, questions, ideas, and challenges before you sleep. You can spend just a few minutes doing this, especially if you're looking for answers regarding a project or there are decisions you are struggling with. Most of us don't know that our brain is a fantastic problem-solving tool because we're often too quick to throw in the towel. There are different ideas and connections that will be created when you put your subconscious mind to work by visualizing your achievements and goals. You can always start putting things into action after you've written down everything that comes to your mind when you're up. Your subconscious mind is very amazing, but you may never know this until you put it to work. Number seven, focus on your environment. 
Most times when we speak of the environment, a large part of the environment involves the people you surround yourself with. The things and the people that support your life's growth and business are those you should surround yourself with because, in one way or another, your life will be changed by the people you spend time with. You'll be motivated to become better, successful, and happier when you hang with supportive people, but you'll be pulled down when you're hanging around with cynics. So it's your choice to either choose to roll with those who celebrate your success and inspire in your creativity, or with people who stifle and bring your energy down. Number eight, express more gratitude. Gratitude is a great dose that you should unashamedly get high on because you'll be less concerned about what people have and you'll be less envious when you express gratitude for what you have. In fact, your change will be immense when you're grateful for the people around you and what you have. Gratitude deepens your motivation and makes you a lot more creative. Everything is appreciated with gratitude, and both your feelings of abundance and energy can be increased by it. There are several ways to practice gratitude, and if you find any that works like magic for you, stick to it. Number nine, visualize your ideal future. Visualization is a very powerful tool, and it will work immensely for you if you know how to use it to your advantage. Focus on your why whenever you feel your motivation is lacking, and when you challenge yourself to think bigger or start thinking bigger, you'll be increasing your brain power and motivation. You'll enjoy having a deeper meaning and purpose in your everyday life when you feel you're actively involved in something bigger than yourself, and you're working on something greater. Thus, do well to identify and focus on your bigger vision. For you to be happy with your progress, what would have to happen? What's your bigger purpose? In the next three or five years, where would you like to be? Number 10, take more actions. You can make a real difference in your life when you do what you've been avoiding and face your resistance and fear. Note that a lot of things in your life are likely to start suffering if you keep resisting taking on what you should have done. Yes, sometimes the large number of tasks we have at hand can make us feel overwhelmed. However, the fact that there are lots to do doesn't mean we should be completely blind to making an internal commitment to get things started and prioritize to use our time effectively. As a matter of fact, other aspects of your life can be impacted by your newfound energy if you just go back to start doing what you should have done. Get started and take one step at a time.